The following episode of Papa and Boy may contain disobedience. Papa, you're a boy. We get that. You don't smoke a pipe. You don't like to grill. Those are Papa things. You're a boy. You like spinning hats and lollipops. Fathers just don't understand. And that's why we've created boys only chicken sticks in a can. These delicious chicken sticks are 100% contained in a can. Wow. Because fathers just don't understand. I love chicken sticks. We know how boys think. We've spent millions of dollars trying to better understand the psychology of the boy to sell them chicken sticks. We get it. You don't want a bath. You don't want to go to bed. I hate bathing. You want chicken sticks, and we get that. Father knows best boys only chicken sticks in a can because papas just don't understand. Oh, boy. Boy, your bath's ready. Come on, while it's still hot. I don't want to have a bath. B what? No bath today. Boy, you, you love baths. What Boys do you mean? like to be dirty, Dad, and I'm a boy. Well, just yesterday you were telling me, I love baths. If more people in the world had baths a little more often, I think there'd be a lot less fighting in the world. You didn't say that. You don't understand me at all. What? What do you mean? I mean, this is news Papa's to me. Papa's like, you never understand us boys. I bought you a bath-related t-shirt for your next birthday. It says, I heart baths. I thought I was understanding you when I bought that. No, Papa, I want chicken sticks for my birthday, not bath stuff. Boy, people don't usually ask for perishable foods for their birthday. Papa, they're in a can. They last really long. Well, in a can, that won't work. The can keeps them safe and dry. You don't understand me at all. Well, okay, I mean, I'll look for it in a can. I'm not sure that's possible, but it's not just a matter of personal preference to bathe. It's important to clean the dirt off your body, the dirt and oil with soap. No, it's not. Uh, I think if that was important, I would know about it by now. Jeez, boy, usually because I said so is enough. So you don't even know why it's necessary. Well, I know. You're just blindly following not blindly. whatever's in those look. books of yours? I just don't remember specifically right now, boy. You're usually saying it's your favorite time of the day that you love. It's like a small well, swimming trip. and then I only said that because you liked it. That's not oh. what boys want, so it's not what I want. Boy, you don't have to hide how you really f feel with me. Son, I'm, I'm your papa. You can tell me anything. If you don't like baths, you don't like baths. We'll try to make them quick. You don't need to hide this sort of stuff from me, bud. Come on. Come over here. Is this a trick? Are you trying to grab me and put me in the bath? No, I just want to give you a nice, big, fatherly hug, father to son, fully trusting. No plots. No, Papa, I don't trust you. You're always trying to make me do things, follow the rules, even though the rules don't make any sense. Trying to keep boys clean all the time when we just want to be free and dirty, standing proud and tall in our spinny hats. It's disrespectful for you to boss me around without explaining the actual reasons why boys need to take a bath. Oh, jeez. My boy doesn't want to hug an innocent, non-plotting hug from his own papa? I, 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 sorry, son. I, I, I've got a book on this exact subject. I'll see you. I'll be right back, boy. Let's see. Discipline guide and refusing to bathe. Refusing to bathe. Ah. If your boy is refusing to bathe, a surefire way to ensure full compliance immediately is to threaten to take away... Oh, jeez. 
threatened to take away his advertising watching privileges. Not allowed to watch any more ads until he's bathed. Oh, hate to do it, but he won't even hug me. I mean, I... I Boy! Yeah? Is the bathtub drained? No, the bathtub is getting cold, and it's important that you get in there right now. Because if you don't, I will punish you by taking away your advertising. You won't be able to watch but any no, ads. No, Papa, that I need to watch the advertisements. All the best toys are on there, and they understand me. I'm sorry, son. It's not my preference. My preference mm-hmm. would just be that you have a quick bath, and we can get you right back to watching the ads you love so much. Please, can we just... Come on. Fine. I'll have a stupid bath if that's what you want. Whatever. You should tell, son. Uh, hey, would it kill you to smile? <laughs> I mean, I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but come on. You love baths. <clears throat> you love baths. <clears throat> come on, get in there. You love baths. I know best. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Sometimes I just don't understand you. <clears throat> Turn on TV. You're not a boy. You're a papa. We get that. Oh, wow. You don't like slingshots. You're more of a tobacco pipe and six-pack kind of guy. <laughs> know me too well. We get that. After a long day of trying to get your boy to go in the bath, you're asking yourself, didn't he always love baths? Boys just can't be understood. Boys are irrational and over-emotional. Mm, yeah. Papas, you get it. Hats off to you. And hats off to you. If you want a compliant boy, the fastest shortcut is boys only chicken sticks in a can. Get your boy off your back. Get him cleaning his room for once. Well, that's a dream come true. And don't tell boy, these boys only chicken sticks in a can make a great snack for papas too. Father knows best, boys only chicken sticks in a can. Now for papas, because boys just can't be understood. Wow, I could tell those advertisers had my best interests in mind. Papa and boy. We've had a lot of fun here today, but it's just the show. There's a few things that we talked about that are actually quite important. The first thing we learned today is that bathing is important, and there's a number of good reasons to bathe. One, the stench of body odor is unpleasant. It could lead to social ostracization. But two, your health and well-being as well. It's possible to get a bacterial or fungal infection on the folds of your skin if you don't regularly bathe. That's not pleasant. And the second thing we learned today is that the Fatherson system, the socioeconomic system that runs our society, exploits the tension between papas and boys for the profits of a few papas at the top. And that this contradiction within the system is both its engine and the seeds of its inevitable undoing. Bye, everybody. See Bye. you later. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.